The MLI leading indicator is designed to be a sensitive barometer of emerging patterns in the Canadian economy. As such, it's not uh, typical of most other forecasts, which basically are just guesses of what the economy is going to do. Instead, we've constructed an index of 10 components that measure what households and businesses in this country have actually committed themselves to spending on. A good example of, how, of the theory that goes into constructing the leading index is that we want to track what people have committed themselves to doing. It's not a forecast of what people are going to do, it's what our people in their own actions reveal they're going to do. An easy example is the decision by a young couple to buy a new home. Uh, we know, for example, that that isn't the end of their spending process. In fact, it's just the beginning, that over the next couple of years, this couple will fill up their home with purchases of furniture and appliances. They'll make some renovations around the home to customize it to their own taste. So we know that uh, uh, the sale of a home in fact is the beginning of a lot of expenditures. We're trying to get those parts of the economy that turn radically into recession or into recovery. Sectors such as business investment, uh, housing, personal expenditure on durable goods. These are the parts of the economy that move with the business cycle. So uh, people shouldn't interpret this. It's not a pre-release or an advanced release of GDP. It's designed to follow the most sensitive parts of GDP. What a 0.3% increase in the leading indicator means is that the economy will grow at a fairly slow, steady rate in the future. Exactly what that rate will be could be 0.2, could be 0.4. It's not meant to be precise like that. What it is saying is that the economy is going to continue to grow in the, economy, in the near term future. It's not going to turn suddenly into recession. Statistics Canada, being a government agency, its primary interest in this was being risk adverse. So it didn't have much, if any, lead time at all, but it, it was very accurate. Basically, it was designed to be almost a pre-release of GDP. It wasn't, uh, so we've reconfigured this now that I'm no longer in government and I can take a little more risk. We've now reconfigured this so it has more lead time, a lead time of up to six months ahead of where the economy turns. Since Canada's interest was, God, don't ever make a mistake with this. We can't ever be wrong. Yeah. That was their most important interest, and that doesn't lead to a very interesting uh, leading index.